The third area is around expanding telepresence beyond just meetings. And as you can see here, we've got a, a patient, we have a doctor, and uh, if you look closely, they're actually talking to another doctor utilizing our VX Clinical Assistant product. So this is a medical cart that is sold to hospitals. And the basic concept is there are many, many specialists in the medical community that have tr tr problems scaling their ability to deliver that expertise on a global basis. So the idea here is that this specialist could be located anywhere in the world. They could be in Bangalore, they could be in San Jose. They can now deliver their expertise at a moment's notice where it's needed to that another doctor, to a nurse, or to a patient. So you have to look at this as just one example of the transformative power of telepresence and the impact that it can have because it's essentially virtualized our ability to access those individuals who have the most knowledge and the most expertise. And whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in education, whether it's in financial services, manufacturing, design, each one of those industries, if you go through them, it becomes very, very quickly apparent how we're seeing telepresence really move beyond the traditional meeting to helping them transform the very way that they deliver their services and their expertise on a global basis. So this is my final slide, and I just want to spend some time on it because when we talk to customers, they really push us on two particular areas. One, user experience. You know, I love the technology. I intuitively understand that video is going to be the way in the future that people communicate and collaborate. But I also understand that there's a risk that my employees may not adopt this. They may not utilize it to the degree necessary. And that's going to obviously negative impact the ROI. The second area they push us on is, okay, great. We're going to use more telepresence. We're going to bring more video into our organization. How do I scale that? How do I manage that? You know, that's going to have a massive impact on my overall IT organization and specifically on the network. So if we look at user experience, Cisco has an end-to-end -end collaboration portfolio unlike anyone else in this industry. And what we're able to do as a result is we can define a consistent user experience across that entire portfolio. So whether you're using WebEx or Telepresence or Jabber or an IP phone, the interface can be similar. So the power of this is imagine that I have a meeting and I start in a three-screen room. So if the way I interact with that three-screen room is the same way I'll interact with the technology on my desktop or on my computer or in another conference room, it means I just have to train people how to use the technology once, and then they'll be able to leverage that understanding regardless of what system they're interfacing with, what room they're in, this becomes very, very powerful because it begins to remove many of the barriers around educating end users and building a video culture where people are comfortable using video. The second area is, you know, telepresence, while an important part of Cisco's business, sits at the heart of a broader collaboration portfolio. So the future of video within organizations isn't as a standalone application it's an integrated application into how people currently work and the, cur the current communications technologies they use. So a great example here is that uh, Cisco right now is the number one manufacturer of IP telephony in the world. We have a tremendous amount of installed base of people who are using that technology. The same call control that powers our IP telephony systems also powers our telepresence systems. And so this enables a couple of really cool things. If you're an end user, it creates mobility between these systems. So you can initiate you know, a conversation on a phone that you can eventually then transition to telepresence or vice versa. So it creates that seamless interoperability and integration between a whole range of technologies and applications that people want to use to collaborate both inside as well as outside of their organization. And then for IT, for an administrator, what it means is that you're managing a single set of solutions that are integrated in such a way that you can conserve bandwidth. You can manage it more simply, more effectively. You can provision it more readily, more easily. So these are very powerful things. It's no longer about video as a separate thing. It's about video as an integrated whole of a broader collaboration portfolio. 
And as we look at the future of telepresence, it's that integration that we believe is a critical component to enabling our customers to deliver better experiences to their end users, but also being able to better manage that experience at a scale that we're starting to see take shape. The final area is to touch upon the role of the network here. So what we know is that user experience is critically important. If you don't have a robust network in place, it's gonna compromise the experience the end user has. And particularly as you begin to scale out video more pervasively within an organization, there's that much more of a premium placed on how you integrate that application into a collaboration portfolio into the network. And this is an area where technologies like MediaNet, which allow us to deliver networks that are really optimized to handle video, becomes critically important. So we even have applications that allow us to trace endpoints on a network to diagnose why they may be potentially having a quality issue. So these are examples of tools that when you begin to look at thousands of endpoints on a network are critically important for A, end users to have a great experience and for IT to be able to manage it in a way that they're comfortable with and that they're confident that this is a solution that they can endorse and they can support moving forward. So in summation, as I come to you here from San Jose, over telepresence from our BLAST studio, uh, which is essentially just using off-the-shelf telepresence combined with a video recording studio to deliver, once again, a completely different experience than people would have been able to have you know, even as recently as a year ago. So it's just another proof point to really how we ultimately see telepresence continuing to evolve, where it's not just limited to one particular use case, it really is limited by the imagination of Cisco its partners, and its customers. And as we build these communities, the three areas, once again, that we believe are critically important are how do we drive telepresence more deeply into an organization to enable more people to have access to this transformative technology to deliver a greater ROI to our customers? How do we engage companies of all sizes to be able to share these in-person experiences on a global basis so that it's no longer just people within one company who are talking to each other, it's people within that company talking to each other, but also outside of the company and extending it throughout their ecosystem. And then finally, it's this concept of telepresence is an amazing, amazing experience, but it can become that much more amazing when you find a very interesting vertical application of it, whether it's in education, financial services, or healthcare. So, Hopefully you've seen that I'm incredibly impassioned about the direction that we're taking telepresence. You know, it's amazing that we just started this five years ago. And we've gotten to the point we are, but I think we all believe that the real opportunity, the real excitement around telepresence is essentially what we're gonna see over the course of the next five years. So I appreciate your time and uh, I would be happy to take any questions from the audience. We are now at 625. I'm, I'm going back to bed at this point. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mike. Thanks, thanks for all those details and thanks for giving us the presentation and explaining to us as to what telepresence is concerned, how it's going to be going going forward from your your on. Well, that's Mike Keish presenting us from California out there. It's time for a panel discussion right now. We'll just get the setup ready. We've also got a bunch of bunch of spokesperson from Cisco will be answering various questions in that context. So let's let's get the panel discussion ready and then we'll take a bunch of questions after that.